are the major problem in the oil palm plantation. Pests are divided into two categories, which is uh, vertebrate and invertebrate pests. But today, I will only explain about the vertebrate pests such as rats and wild boar. So, in this case, we will ask the experienced supervisor to know more about this uh, problem. Here with me now uh, is Encik Sazrul and Encik Aizat, which is the supervisor in the field. So, can you tell me about the red attack in the field? Yes, uh, okay. First of all, uh, the rats one of the major pest problem in the oil palm plantation. There are three common species that we can, we can found in the field, which is Ratus theomanicus, Ratus diardi, and Ratus argentiventa. Uh, we al we always can found the rats under the stacker front uh, and also we can found them on the oil palm tree. So what are the symptoms that we can see from the red attack? Okay, for the symptoms, uh, let me show you uh, the fruit that get the red attacks uh, the red will eat the mesocarp until the kernel of the fruit uh, when they eat the fruit uh, it will make the oil produce decrease it is because the mesocarp will be processed to produce the oil when the mesocarp get eaten, the oil produce will be less. Then, what are the methods that your company use to control the red attack in the field? Okay, we have two methods that we use to control this attack, which is biological control and chemical control. For the, bio for the biological control, we use oil to eat the red. For the chemical, we use a red baiting to use a baiting which is storm. Okay, for the red baiting, we will put it uh, on the base of the palm. Uh, also at the bunch of the palm tree here or wherever you can put it. Okay, the, the storm is the second generation of red baiting. There are two types of there are two generations of the red baiting, which is the first generation. Uh, when the when we apply it, the rats that eat it will die, but uh, the predator that eat the scars of the rat will not die. Uh, okay, for the second generation, uh, both of them will die. It means that when the rat eat the red baiting they will die and also the predator that eat the scars of the rats also will die uh, it is also uh, one of the uh, one of the method that we use to control the snake okay seterusnya kita pergi pada rat control Red sensor is done at 3 monthly interval Okay, sebelum kita buat uh, Kita kena buat sensor dulu Sebelum kita masuk uh, Red control Maksudnya red sensor ni Kita kena buat 3 bulan Sekali Juga red baiting apply when Price damage exceeds 5% Maksudnya kalau dah lebih daripada 5% tu Kita terpaksa uh, Buat red baiting Okay uh, Press damage point ni apabila kan Apabila 5 atau lebih daripada uh, More liver fruit light Plus fruit tu kan Fruit tu kena makan yang uh, Lebih daripada 5 lah Fruit kena makan kan So sama ada dia un unright atau rough Lepas tu uh, use Calendar baiting uh, 6 A6 monthly interval Kali setahun Maksudnya Okay uh, 
ni saya dapat punya polisi Kalender vetting Yang kalender vetting Dia kena apply juga Semua Setiap uh, state kena apply kalender vetting Okay maksudnya kalau macam uh, Field tu macam ada blok-blok tu Ada yang kena tak Ada kena atau tak ada kena eh, Ada yang kena press damage Atau tak ada Still kena uh, buat uh, apa tu Apply uh, red vetting uh, Still buat campaign Dia ada dua sebenarnya untuk kontrol Pertama, calendar baiting Kedua, respon baiting Respon baiting ni kita apply uh, Base Apabila certain kawasan ni yang kena uh, Itu kita buat respon Maksudnya contoh kita pergi field A Jadi pun kat sana ada Kena apa? Seruk uh, kat sana lah Kena uh, press damage So kita apply kat sana saja Kawasan yang tu kita tak payah uh, Kalau calendar baiting kita apply semua Okey, terusnya kita nak kontrol Tadi kita guna uh, chemical Kan, kita guna chemical Terusan kita guna biological control Kita guna cyto alba Burung hantu Okey Cyto alba ni sangat efektif uh, Efektif predator of red in oil palm Sebabnya cyto alba ni Dia uh, 99% Diet dia adalah Tikus So dia tak makan benda lain, dia makan tikus dia Kalau Kenapa kita pilih uh, Taito Alba sebagai Lebih selamat Kenapa tak guna ulang Kenapa pun akan makan benda lain Kalau yang Taito Alba dia akan makan tikus dia So kita kena ni lah Diet dia hanya Tikus Okay, uh, okay untuk letak uh, bun on, on box ni kita letak satu satu box sepuluh hektar. Uh, satu. Ratio dia. Ratio dia. Okay, uh, okay untuk buat sensor dia pula uh, setiap enam bulan. Setiap enam bulan kita check check. Masuk. Uh, sama ada dia ada burung ke tidak. We know is Encik Karat Azman, the experienced supervisor in the oil palm plantation. Uh, Encik Karat Azman, yes. can you uh, tell me the wild boar attack in the oil palm plantation? Okay, the wild boar are the major pest of oil palm during the mature stage. The wild boar usually will attack the in the nursery and the newly planted seedling in the field. The wild boar usually will dig up the soil and they will pull out the young shoot and eat them then the seedling will die so what are your company use to control the wild boar attack in the field okay to control the wild boar attack in the field our company will install the electric fencing so that wild boar could not enter the oil pump. The second way, uh, our company will hire the people that have license to use gun. Then the people will hound down the wild boar and shoot them. Okay, that's all the method that our company use to prevent the wild boar attack in the field. Oh, thank you for giving your information. Uh, hopefully, we will uh, use information for our report. Thank you. Hopefully, Welcome. we will make again. Thank you. Thank you. A herd of elephants went on a multiple-day rampage at a village in Borneo, Malaysia last week, causing massive damage to many of the plantations. The incident took place in Telupid in central Sabah and began last Friday. Around 30 wild elephants raided the village, destroying the villagers' crops. While some of the elephants were also seen roaming near the village houses, two elephants were found crossing the main road into the village and were caught at about 9am on Tuesday. Other elephants are still in the jungle near the plantation. This marks the second incident involving elephants rampaging through the village in the last 20 years.